of the Blessed Virgin Mary. May the blessing of the Most Holy Trinity be with you, the Father, second coming, just as the crowds went out to meet you at your first coming, they carried palms and olive branches while shouting, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord to save us and renew us. To you, to your Father and to your Holy Spirit be glory, now and forever. Amen. Peace be with 
the church and her children. begotten Son, the eternal, holy, and blessed Word, whose holiness is boundless, to the good Master who willingly humbled himself, although he is the power and wisdom of God, and to the one who is glorified by spiritual powers, and who was pleased with the praises of infants and children, to the good one be glory and honor on this feast and all the days of our lives and forever. Amen. O Christ, our God, in the heavens you are carried on a chariot of light, yet on earth you ride on a donkey's colt. You are hidden from the spiritual powers, yet you are praised by your holy disciples in the streets of Jerusalem. O Holy One, you are seated in the throne of your glory, yet you are honored by the crowds the old and the young, infants and children who spread their cloaks and branches before you. In your grace, you have planned all this for our salvation. Now, O Lord, we implore you with the fragrance of this incense to make us worthy to celebrate this feast with joy and gladness and with reverence for your profound humility. Prepare us to go out to meet you at your second coming with the purity, wearing robes of glory, shouting with those who, who celebrate, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. In that eternal feast, may we and our departed raise glory to you, to your Father, and to your Holy Spirit forever. Amen.
are pleasing to the Father who sent you, and you are the pure incense who has made your creation fragrant, bringing joy to the world. You fulfilled what was said by the prophets, and you were delighted by the praise of the children. May we rejoice in the sweetness of your love, make our souls and senses fragrant with the purity of your holiness, so that you may praise and thank you, your Father and your Holy Spirit, forever. Sanctify our minds and purify our consciences that we may praise you with purity and listen to your holy scriptures. To you be glory forever. of glory, O Jerusalem, give praise, for your gates have been strengthened, listen and accept the of the prophet Zechariah, your blessing father. Rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion. Shout aloud, O daughter of Jerusalem. Lo, your king comes to you. Triumphant and victorious is he, humble and riding on a donkey, on a colt, the fowl of a donkey. He will cut off the chariot from Ephraim and the war horse from Jerusalem, and the battle bow shall be cut off, and he shall command peace to the nations. His dominion shall be from sea to sea, and from the river to the ends of the earth. As for you also, because of the blood of my covenant with you, I will set your prisoners free from the, water from the waterless pit. The Lord of hosts will protect them, and they shall devour and tread down the slingers. They shall drink their blood like wine, and be full like a bowl, drenched like the corners of the altar. On that day, the Lord their God will save them, for they are a flock of his people, for like the jewels of a crown, they shall shine on his land. For what goodness and beauty are his, grain shall, grain shall make the young man flourish, and new, man, and new wine the young woman. Praise be to God always. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians, with your blessing. Glory to the Lord of Paul and the Apostles. May the mercy of God descend upon the readers and the listeners, and upon this parish and her children forever. Brothers and sisters, Paul and Timothy, servants of Christ Jesus, to all the saints in Christ Jesus who are in Philippi, with the bishops and deacons, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank my God every time I remember you. 
constantly praying with joy in every one of my prayers for all of you because of your sharing in the gospel from the first day until now. I am confident of this, that the one who began a good work among you will bring it to completion by the day of Jesus Christ. It is right for me to think this way about all of you because you hold me in your heart for all of you sharing God's grace with me, both in my imprisonment and in the defence and confirmation of the gospel. For God is my witness, how I long for all of you with the compassion of Christ Jesus. And this is my prayer, that your love may overflow more and more with knowledge and full insight to help you to determine what is best, so that in the day of Christ you may be pure and blameless, having produced the harvest of righteousness that comes, from, comes through, Christ, through Jesus Christ for the glory and praise of God. I want you to know, beloved, that what has happened to me has actually helped to spread the gospel, so that it has become known throughout the whole Imperial Guard and to everyone else. Praise be to God always. and children you have fashioned praise before the proclamation of the gospel of our Savior Announcing life for our souls, we offer this incense and ask for your mercy, O Lord. Peace be with you and with your spirit. From the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Saint John, who proclaimed life to the world, let us listen to the proclamation of life and salvation for our souls. Remain silent, O listeners, for the Holy Gospel is about to be proclaimed to you. Listen and give glory and thanks to the word of the living God. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Apostle John writes, On the next day, when the great crowd that had come to the feast heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem, they took palm branches and went out to meet him and cried out, Hosanna, blessed is, the, is he who comes in the name of the Lord, even the King of Israel. Jesus found an ass and sat upon it, as it's written, Fear no more, O daughter Zion. See, your king comes seated upon an ass cult. His disciples did not understand this at first, but when Jesus had been glorified, they remembered that these things were written about him and that they had done this for him. So the crowd that was with him when he called Lazarus from the tomb and raised him from death continued to testify. This was also why the crowd went to meet him. Because they, they heard, because they heard that he had done this sign. So the Pharisees said to one another, You see that you are gaining nothing. Look, the whole world has gone after him. Now there were some Greeks among those who had come up to worship at the feast. They came to Philip, who was from Bethsaida and Galilee, and asked him, Sir, we would like to see Jesus. Philip went and told Andrew. Then Andrew and Philip went and told Jesus. This is the truth. Peace be with you.
powers, the seraphim and cherubim, the angels and the archangels, and all spiritual beings tremble, tremble before you. They cover their eyes before your majesty. They worship you with reverence and awe, and glorify you without ceasing. Here on earth you are praised by infants, children, and all the faithful with shouts of Hosanna. We implore you, O Lord, to pardon our faults in your grace and to forgive your, our offenses in your mercy. May we live according to your will and find mercy and compassion in this world and in the next. O Lord, our God, to you be glory forever. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Lord God, you have shown us your plan of salvation. Now, in your abundant mercy, bless these branches that they may bless those who carry them and take them. May they educate the children, strengthen the young, and give dignity to the elderly. May churches, monasteries, convents, and homes be filled with their blessings. May they confirm the faithful in the true faith and in good works. Glory and honor and adoration are due to you, to your Father, and to your Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. May these branches be blessed and sanctified in the name of the Father. Amen. And the Son. the Holy Spirit. Amen. We believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, life from life, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was he part of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified on the conscious Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. And his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. We confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. And we look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the Lord to come. Itilut mat hidaluhu alutaludam haditaliu we nubsugat taibuto khayaul al baytu wasgud baiklu utku.
done, God. You accepted the offerings of our ancestors. Now accept these offerings that your children have brought to you out of their love for you and for your holy name. Shower your spiritual blessings upon them and in place of their earthly gifts, grant them life and your kingdom. Amen. As we remember our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ and His plan of salvation for us, we recall upon this offering all those who have pleased God from Adam to this day, especially Mary, the blessed mother of God, Saint Joseph, Saint Maroon, Saint Sharbel, Saint Rafka, Saint Namtalla, and the blessed Stephen and all the saints. Remember, O God, the children of the Holy Church, our fathers and mothers, and our brothers and sisters, both the living and the departed, especially those for whom this sacrifice is offered. Remember also those who share with us today in this offering. Amen. Oh, Mary, we pray to you. continue our Mass with the anaphora of St. Sixtus, Pope of Rome. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Holy Father, grant security, peace, and everlasting love to your Church, that we may raise glory and thanks to you, to your only Son, and to your Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Peace to you, o altar of God. Peace to the holy mysteries placed upon you. Peace to you, O server of the Holy Spirit. Peace, us and make us worthy of the eternal reward reserved for men and women of peace and we raise glory to you now and forever Amen. O Lord we offer you these holy mysteries that through them you may free us from the sufferings caused by sin and enable us to work for justice that you may raise glory to you now and forever. Amen. The love of God the Father and the grace of the only begotten Son and the communion and indwelling of the Holy Spirit be with you, my brothers and sisters, forever. And with your spirit. Let us lift up our thoughts, our minds, and our hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord with reverence and worship Him with the humility. It is right and just. With heart, mind, and tongue, we give you thanks, O Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one true God, joined spiritually to the invisible choirs and countless ranks of angels. Your faithful people glorify you, with them and three times proclaim. <laughs>
God the Father, holy is your only Son, and holy is your Spirit. Through the incarnation of your Son, you saved the world and freed it from sin and kept it from going astray. And he added these words, whenever you share in these mysteries, remember my death, barrier, and resurrection until I come again. We remember your death, O Lord. We profess your resurrection. We await your second coming. We implore your mercy and compassion. We ask for the forgiveness of sins. May your mercy rest upon us. O Lord, we do not forget the amazing events of your plan of salvation and the fearful signs of your second coming, when you shall reward all people according to their deeds. Now, your church implores you, and through you, and with you, implores your Father, saying, Have mercy on us, Almighty Father. Have mercy on us. O Lord, as we, your sinful children, receive your graces, we thank you for them and because of them. We praise you. We bless you. We adore you. We glorify you. We profess our faith in you and we ask you, have compassion on us, O God. Have mercy on us and hear us. Lord Father, Lord God and Father, have compassion on us and on all your inheritance. Be pleased with this offering through the descent of your Holy Spirit, who proceeds eternally from you and who is substantially the same as you and your Son. Hear us, O Lord. Hear us, O Lord. Hear us, O Lord. And may your living Holy Spirit come and rest upon us and upon this offering. Oh, 
with descent he may make the spread the body of Christ our God. Amen. And make the mixture in this chalice the blood of Christ our God. Amen. May these mysteries, O Lord, allow us who share in them to find joy in your presence and we raise glory to you now and forever. Amen. O Lord, be an invincible fortress against false teachings for your church and her shepherds. Assist our fathers, Mar Francis, the Pope of Rome, Mar Pshara Peter, our Patriarch of Antioch, Mar Antoine Sherbel, our Bishop, Mar Hadi, our General Father, and all the bishops of the true faith with the blameless lives and purity and holiness, may they guide your church and present to you a faithful people who honor your name. We pray to you, O Lord. O Lord, on this day of great rejoicing, when we welcome you as our King and Savior, we also walk in the shadow of your cross. Blessed are you who came to save us, Strengthen our face on this Palm Sunday so that when the time comes to carry the cross, we might still call out to you with heartfelt praise and carry it with you to the Calvary. Let us pray to the Lord. He came to Jerusalem riding on a donkey as a symbol of triumph. The people rejoiced and waved branches of palm and olive oil, oh sorry, and olive to glorify you. Give us the grace and the courage to follow you this holy week. And from death to resurrection, from darkness to the fullness of light, let us pray to the Lord. O oh Lord, you set your face towards Jerusalem and walked alongside those who suffer. Be our vision that we may that we too may walk the way of the cross and extend a hand to those we meet. You entered the city with peace in your heart. We pray that we too may desire peace and work for injustice where injustice reigns. Let us pray to the Lord. O oh Lord. Oh Lord, it is right to praise who you in tender love towards man kid took flesh and suffered on the cross on this day when you entered the holy city of Jerusalem and was proclaimed king of kings, enter the hardest hearts and melt them with your love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O Lord, forgive the faithful departed who have been redeemed by the death of your only son. And on that day, when all are rescued from death, delivered from the realm of the dead and raised from the dust of the grave, the grace of your only son, will have been glorified in us and in them. Through him, we hope to find mercy and forgiveness for our sins and for theirs. Grant, Grant rest, O God, to the departed, and forgive the sins we have committed, with or without full knowledge. O Lord, in the resurrection on the last day, when all is renewed, make us and our departed worthy through your grace of the joy of your heavenly kingdom in us and in all things. May your blessed and most honored name be glorified, praised, and exalted with the name of our Lord Jesus Christ and of your living Holy Spirit now and forever. As it was, is now, and shall be forever. Amen.
yourself for us. You are the forgiving sacrifice who offered yourself to your Father. You are the high priest who offered yourself as a lamb. Through your mercy, may our prayer rise like incense, which we offer to your Father through you. To you be glory forever. O oh Lord, open our mouth and lips, sanctify our bodies and souls, and purify our minds and consciences, so that we may call upon you, O Father of mercies, and implore you, praying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. O Lord, hasten to transform all that's harmful and detrimental into that which will help and benefit us, that you may raise glory to you now and forever. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads before the God of mercy, before his forgiving altar, and before the body and blood of our Savior, who gives life to those who partake of him and receive the blessing from the Lord. O oh Lord, may your graces and your blessings and all your divine gifts Descend in abundance on your church, your parishes, monasteries, and convents, that you may raise glory to you now and forever. Amen. The grace of the most holy Trinity, eternal and consubstantial, be with you, my brothers and sisters, forever. And with your spirit. Look to God with reverence and humility and ask Him for mercy and compassion. Holy gifts for the holy with perfection, purity, and sanctity. sanctified by your holy body, and our souls purified by your forgiving blood. May our communion be for the forgiveness of our sins and for new life. O Lord our God, to you be glory forever.
again and again we thank you, O Lord, and raise glory to you for giving us your body to eat and your living blood to drink. O lover of all people, have mercy on us. Have mercy on us, O Lord, O compassionate and merciful one, O lover of all people, have mercy on us. The second collection today will be going towards the Bad Shabeb Committee to support um, the Bad Shabeb Hospital for the people with special abilities in Lebanon. Uh, we thank you in advance for your contribution. Please join us straight after the uh, procession tonight for the arrival of the port of the harbour. Um, so this reminds us that the Ark, for those of you who don't know, which represents the church, um, is arriving safely after its Lenten journey to the harbour of salvation, which is Christ himself. So please join us after Mass for that rite. Our Holy Week schedule is circulating on socials. All the events and prayer times are on the flyer. On that note, we do require volunteers and some uh, more assistance next week, where possible. During Good Friday morning prayers from 8 a.m., if you are available, please see me after Mass and we can add you into our volunteers group chat or onto our volunteers list. Stations and Adoration of the Cross will be prayed at 8 p.m. in English from Monday to Wednesday this week. The Passion of Christ movie will also be played inside the church at 9 p.m. this Tuesday. Please note there is no youth mass this Thursday. Instead, please join us at 6 p.m. for Holy Thursday Mass, followed by the visiting of the seven churches. To book your spot, please um, refer to the flyer, which is circulating on social media. Um, the schedule for seven churches will also be released this week, so please keep an eye out on socials. The church will remain open all night on Holy Thursday. Adoration will also be on from Monday to Thursday this week from 10 p.m. to 12 a.m. There will be no um, youth-led adoration this week. Instead, that will be replaced by 8 p.m. evening prayers and stations of the cross. The Divine Mercy Novena will begin this week on Good Friday at 3 p.m. See our socials for the uh, times with which the Novena will be prayed um, up until Divine Mercy Sunday. Moving on to a few save the dates. SUA's dinner dance is on the 7th of June. You do not want to miss this, so please keep an eye out on social media. Maronite Sports Day will be held on the 1st of April. Um, this is the day after Easter, so Easter Monday. If you'd like to join a team or volunteer on the day, see me after Mass. It's a fun-filled day with fun games, laughter and food, also a great way to meet um, and interact with a few people from around the eparchy, so please come along to support SCIA. Our Divine Mercy celebration will be celebrated on the 7th of April, which is the conclusion of the Divine Mercy Novena. Again, um, more details are to come, so please keep a keen eye on social media. Um, if you are married and interested in deepening the graces of your sacrament, please consider joining teams of Our Lady. For more details, please see me after Mass. This year marks the 50-year jubilee of the parish. Throughout the year, there will be many events to celebrate this massive milestone. The monks of the parish appreciate your donation and assistance as always. If you would like to make any donations um, towards our Jubilee celebrations, please see me after Mass. 
We ensure the safety of our children and vulnerable individuals. If you have any complaints or concerns related to the well-being of any child or person, please promptly contact the parish office. Again, as always, if you have any questions about anything I said, I know I said quite a lot, please see me after Mass or any one of the other execs who are present. Thank you and have a blessed evening. Holy Father, our mouth accustomed to earthly food, give you thanks for your grace that has made us worthy of this heavenly food, the body and the blood of your only Son. Through him and with him, glory, power, and honor are due to you and to your Holy Spirit now and forever. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. O Christ, you are, heavenly, you are the heavenly bread who came down and became for us the food that does not perish. At your second coming, may we not become the food of the imperishable fire. We raise glory and thanks to you, to your Father and to your Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Go in peace, my beloved brothers and sisters, with the nourishment and blessings you have received from the forgiving altar of the Lord. May the blessing of the Most Holy Trinity accompany you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the one God to whom be glory forever. Amen. Lord God, make us worthy to meet you in this procession on this solemn feast. Remove from us the ways of sin and clothe us with the robes of virtue. Purify our hands that we may carry candles and branches leading us to holiness. Open our mouth that we may sing hymns and psalms. Lead us on the path of, to chastity and angelic purity in this holy procession and all the days of our lives. We praise and glorify you now and forever. Amen. Thank you. 